Well, the funny thing is that on Amazon, you have millions of sellers, but the question is, do they really make money and consistently? So in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about how to win the Amazon buy box. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sudo Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you already ask me. If you are doing as great and blessed as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the Amazon Buy Box, how to win it, master it, and keep it for a long time. One thing I want to say right off the bat, there are two types of sellers on Amazon. So you have Amazon itself, yeah, Amazon actually they sell on their own platform and they sell a wide constellation of products and then you have third-party retailers who typically specialize in one or more categories okay so you have two types of sellers on Amazon so since there is no limit to the number of sellers who can use the Amazon platform multiple merchants frequently sell the same item so these sellers are known as resellers as compared to a private label selling in which you sell a proprietary item so let me define the Amazon buy box for you. So the moment a buyer lands on an Amazon product listing, we've all been there, done that. The seller will be, uh, the, the customer rather, will be presented with a lot of important information. So on the far left, they can see the product images. At the center of the listing, they have uh, the product title, number of ratings, variants, and a few bullet points in terms of description, right? We've all been there, we know that. And finally, and most importantly, and which is this is the topic of today's conversation, you have the buy box on the far right. You can see on the screen here, that's where you have the buy box. So as for the buy box, it is basically a widget visible on most Amazon product listing pages that allows a shopper to quickly purchase products they are searching for. And think about it, this is so important because this widget enables shoppers to select the way in which they will purchase the product, whether it is used, new, shipping speeds and gift options and those are options you can see and customers can also adjust the number of items they're buying and then once they are done with uh, all the variables they can prepare for checkout by clicking the add to cart button and this is what is really really quintessential here and you want to actually fight for that this is the buy box you want to fight for the ability to to have your product listed at least you don't you don't have to win the buy box for all products but if you could just win one one and that will actually trickle positively on the rest of your store okay so this is the buy box let me talk to you about the importance of that buy box well you probably know already right there are two main reasons why you should be concerned about the buy box number one Money, money, money. Yeah, of course. Because owning the buy box increases your chances of making a sale. I mean, that's just uh, that's just uh, logical, right? I mean, nearly all Amazon purchases are made through the buy box as it is the first call to action shoppers see. No shopper is going to go through the list of uh, other sellers to sort of uh, buy your product unless they know you already. Okay, so the very first reason why you want to own that is because of money. Your revenue will go up. Profitability will increase and brings all kinds of uh, positivity to your store. Okay, and um, one thing we have seen also is that the second reason, if you own the buy box, you can create Amazon PPC ad. We have covered on another show the whole topic of uh, pay-per-click ads on Amazon, because this actually this sort of uh, Amazon PPC allows sellers to bid on prices of clicks for certain keywords and sellers who control the buy box can create sponsored listings for the product through Amazon PPC. But if you don't own the buy box, even if even if it, it's on your own listing, you cannot create ads for the product. So this is why a lot of um, a lot of sellers are really interested in owning the buy box. Okay, do you get that? And one thing I want to say before moving on to the next level, the next section here is that that buy box is not something static. It is dynamic. It changes all the time. You have to understand, um, you can own the buy box at 9 a.m. 
and by 3 p.m. you can lose it because Amazon as a platform is very dynamic and uh, it really depends on the competition. So if competition heats up on a specific product and you're not actually a plain, uh, plain ball, you might lose the buy box. OK, you also have to understand that um, the um, customers change all the time. All right. It's all about what really works, because if something worked last week, last year and it's not working this year, you're not going to own the buy box unless you have adjusted, you have adapted your strategy to the new reality. Talk to me about that. I want you to talk to me about your Amazon strategy right now. You are a seller and you're just thinking, wow, how come my sales are not going up? Well, guess what? Buy box is one, one way to uh, bring them up. Winning, owning the buy box is one reason. It's one way, rather. It's one way to actually bring your sales back up. So I want you to think about the fact that this is a dynamic event. So if you don't own, if you don't own the buy box now, that's fine. Keep working hard. Keep fighting and one day you will own it, even if it's for a few hours or a few days, whatever, whatever it is, keep doing the right thing. Let's talk about eligibility. So you heard me talk about what the buy box is, right? And the fact that it is a dynamic criterion and also what makes you buy box eligible? That's a big question. Big decision time. Big decision time. First of all, are you interested in owning the buy box? Chances are you are because otherwise you wouldn't be listening to me, right? Fantastic. Now, what are the requirements for competing for the buy box? First of all, you got to have a professional seller account. Okay, so only sellers who have purchased a professional seller account are eligible. This is very important. Number two, you got to see the buy box eligibility status. So you can you, your, your status can be checked in Amazon Seller Central. So you have to go to your dashboard and there you can see whether or not you are eligible. Amazon will tell you. Also, you have to provide new items. So your items must be new. So used items are not eligible for the regular buy box, though they can be sold on a separate buy used box. OK, so always think about novelty. Think about new items and also availability. This is important availability. So there needs to be inventory on your listed item without stock. The buy box will simply rotate to another seller. I mean, the, the funny thing is people actually um, they have a, gr a great idea for it a product let's say they're doing drop shipping right but they haven't checked with the uh, with the drop shipping supplier whether or not they can produce enough items if you are lucky enough to have your products be popular and very viral but you can't really keep up with demand that's a big no-no so think about availability very important and typically you also want to make sure that your account is healthy in other words you have great customer service performance OK, so you can check that. Actually, uh, you have to go to your seller central account and you can click on performance account health. This is important. And so there are a few things. There is the essential buy box elements are quality of customer service. OK, you want to think about novelty of your items. You want to think about inventory management which translate into availability of your items. Right. You don't want to run out of stock. No. No, you are on Amazon for the long run, so you better think long term here. Don't try to have those strategies where you have a, a short term vision and before you know it, you, you only plan for inventory for three months. Doesn't work, my friend. Three months, no. Obviously, what I'm saying here is you have to adapt it to the kind of product you're selling because we have to think also about cyclicality. You have to think about seasonality. You have to think about target audience. But at the end of the day, you want to have inventory on on hand. Let me talk to you about winning the Amazon buy box. Actually, there are five ways, five proven ways to win the buy box on Amazon. Money, 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 right? Money, money, money. It's all about revenue growth. It's all about profitability. So the thing here is that even if you meet the minimum requirements for buy box eligibility, you still may not win or control the buy box right away. And Amazon is very, uh, I would say, discreet in terms of uh, explaining the factors that its algorithm considers when assigning the buy box to sellers. But there are five proven ways based on our research. Number one, you want to sell products in a new condition. Very important. 
I've mentioned before novelty. Novelty is very quintessential here. Typically, the seller who wins the buy box will offer a new version of the product. Okay, number two. Now, we have done research also and we have seen that only in rare circumstances will sellers making used condition offers to win the buy box over those with the new condition offers. It's very rare. Okay, number two. You want to offer competitive pricing. Think about that, my friend. Think about the pricing. Don't try to win. Don't try to make a huge profit on by selling uh, 10 products. Think about mass sales. Think about the long run. Think about economies of scales. That's what I want you to think about. You also want to list as a prime seller. That's reason number three. If you want to make a lot of ka-ching, 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 and you want to win the buy box on Amazon, I want you to list as a prime seller. Although a non-prime seller can qualify to win the buy box, Amazon gives priority to its prime sellers. That's just all it is. And sellers who use Fulfilled by Amazon, the FBA program, automatically qualify for Prime, though merchants who fulfill their own products can also qualify for Prime. Number four, you want to keep strong inventory levels. I've mentioned this before. They are important. Don't run out of stock, okay? You really have to pay attention to that. And number five, you want to maintain positive seller feedback. Very important. So five proven tips. Sell products in a new condition. Offer competitive pricing. You want to list as a prime seller, you want to keep strong inventory levels, and you want to maintain positive seller feedback. Did you hear that? I want you to write it down. Write down right now those five levels, those five criteria. Very important. And also, in addition to that, you have to think about using FBA. So using the fulfillment by Amazon. This is important. This is this is this variable has some of the greatest impact on the buy box when, when it comes to eligibility. Think about seller fulfilled prime. This is another uh, way to actually uh, win the buy box. Um, the buy box on Amazon. Number three, the landed price. So I've talked to you about pricing it before, but you want to think about the landed price. Landed price include shipping. Very important. The lower the landed price, the greater the buy box share. So if you have high performance metrics that your direct competitors don't have you can also price higher and retain your share of the buy box but it takes time it takes strategy and the fourth thing you want to pay attention to shipping time this is a very simple metric I, i'll grant you that but the buy box the algorithm will look at it they will look at your shipping time they'll look at your delivery time all that kind of stuff so pay attention to those four elements also in addition to the five proven tips i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about how to win the Amazon buy box. Okay, now this I want to talk to you about how you can lose the buy box. This might sound a little counter counterintuitive because we are speaking about winning here, but it's important to to actually uh, understand the flip side of things. There are ways you can lose the buy box. So if you are currently in a situation where you own the buy box, God bless you. And I want to tell you things you can do or things you can actually avoid so you don't lose it. All right. Big decision time. Big decision time. Please do not do those three things that I'm going to actually say right now. Number one, another seller joins your listing. Well, there's nothing you can do about that. This is not your fault. If you have another seller who joined your list, who joined uh, your listings and list the products at, at a lower price, they can win the buy box. But guess what? The cool thing here is that you can also lower the price. In some cases, this is referred to as hijacking, especially if the listing was a private label product of your own creation. So by setting their price lower than yours, Amazon's algorithm awards the new seller to buy box. They actually will award the new seller the buy box. The question is, are you just going to sit around and just look somebody just uh, take uh, pizza out of, out of your mouth? No. No, what you want to do is you want to actually play with that person. Obviously, you have been on the platform longer than he or she, than him or her, right? So what you want to do is you want to actually work on price and you want to lower the price as much as possible. Number two, if your price is too high or too low, if your price is too high or too low in comparison to the average price, you might lose the buy box, even if you are the only seller on the listing. Yep. 
This prevents sellers from offering their products at a significantly reduced starting price in order to garner early sales and reviews and then increasing the price once the product gains visibility. So this is something you need to think about. And the third element here is that um, if your account health takes a dip, this is important. Okay. If your account health on Amazon falls below a certain threshold, Amazon may also remove your buy box privileges, which is why you need to constantly check their health. Very important. Okay. If your seller privileges are suspended or one of your ASINs is uh, suppressed, you will lose the buy box. Okay. This is something. And I'm showing you on the screen here. We have a, a buy, box cheat, uh, buy box cheat sheets and a courtesy of big commerce that you can look at in terms of uh, the impact on buy box of specific actions. Check this out. Now I want to talk to you about pricing. Yeah, this is important. There are a lot of things you can do and uh, how can you track your buy box? First of all, it's important to, I want to say this again, money should be an important element when it comes to keeping, when it comes to winning the buy box, keeping it and maintaining it over a long time. Money, money, money. Okay. There are a lot of ways you can automate the, pri the, the pricing on the pricing of your products because uh, the algorithm will pay attention to the pricing to assign the buy box to you. Okay. Amazon has an automate pricing tool. And that price, that pricing tool will reprice your products automatically if and when they differ from the current buy box price. That is, another seller lists the product for less than your offer. Okay, so to access the automate pricing tool, you want to go to your seller central and click pricing and you will see automate pricing. One thing I want to say here is that you really need to choose the pricing rule you wish to enact and give it a name. Because the name can be anything you want, right? As long as it helps you remember the purpose of the new pricing rule. You have to be very strategic when it comes to pricing. Very important. And based on our research, there are five types of pricing rules you can choose from. Number one, you have competitive buy box. So the rule changes the price of your offer above, at, or below the current buy box offer. This is kind of useful when you have uh, multiple offers on the same product listing. You have a lot of competition. That's what it is. Rule number two. Competitive lowest price. If you want to offer the lowest possible price, you can set a rule to price your offer below the other listings, regardless of their buy box status. Okay, this is a little aggressive, but if you can actually maintain that, and this is kind of um, this is kind of uh, harmonious with your uh, liquidity situation, with your profitability, that's kind of cool. The third rule is the competitive external price. So you can set your offer to reprice based on non-Amazon prices. However, this may cause you to lose the buy box if your price is a lot higher than the current buy box price. You can base the rule on uh, sales units. So if you wish to reduce the price for a certain number of, of units, you can create a rule for that as well. And the third type of pricing rule, price synchronization. So business sellers have multiple tiers for their listings. So if you wish, let's say uh, you wish to have the prices for all of all your tiers adjusted in relation to the standard price for your business product listing, you want to use this rule. Okay. So what I want to see here is that buy box on Amazon, when it comes to the pricing strategies, you can actually do things manually, rule based or algorithmic. Okay. It really depends on your resources. So the go to method of pricing for many sellers have been to lower their prices beyond that of their competitors to increase their chances of securing the buy box. However, this does not always translate into higher profits for reasons that you know I, I've I've said in this show and on an other show. The thing here is that you can do things manually up to a certain point. If your store is growing, you're gonna have to think about automation at least partially. Let's talk about strategy, folks, and uh, I want to talk to you about the buy box alternatives. So right now you're just listening to me. It's all good. You know I'm giving you advice. But how do you win in the buy box is not the only way to sell on Amazon, right? I mean, if if you have to wait for the buy box to um, actually make sales, this is not good because the buy box is unique and not everybody will qualify for the buy box. OK, so how do you grow your revenue? How do you increase your sales? Money, money, money. How do you actually get to, to the level where you can sell without the buy box? The other options are through other sellers on Amazon the offer listing page 
in your Amazon store page. Let me talk to you about other sellers. In other words, you, pr you probably just want to sell through somebody who already owns the buy box. Now, obviously, this has uh, a lot of, uh, there is, um, I would say there is a risk because you're actually entrusting your store's profitability to somebody else. But hey, listen, at the end of the day, it's all about just winning. It's all about making sales, right? That's number one. You could also go to another category called other sellers. So when you have the, the listings, right under the buy box is a listing of up to three select listings. So this listings must still meet the all of the above buy box requirements. While not as visible as the buy box, these do have a greater chance of conversion than those prices or brands not showing up at all, right? It's all about being there instead of uh, not being there at all. It doesn't matter if you don't win the buy box automatically, just be on the listing page. You can also be on the offer listing page. So this page lists all the sellers who sell a particular product regardless of whether they are buy box eligible. So offerings are displayed in order of a landed price, price plus shipping. And customers can also see other seller variables, including buyer feedback and rebate policies. What I want to tell you here is that to get to that, um, to get to that listing page, you want to pay attention to your um, keywords. You want to pay attention to your uh, your SEO on Amazon. You want to pay attention to your description, to your images, all the constellation of things that actually uh, give your store a lot of exposure. And I want to talk to you before finishing today about the the importance of Buy Box Mobile. Okay. Did you know that more customers than ever are shopping on Amazon via mobile? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. According to research, Amazon people are actually um Amazon has has said that more than 85%, 85%, I want you to write it down, 85% of their customers worldwide shopped via mobile, purchasing at extremely high frequencies. Think about it. So in mobile, the buy box takes on heightened importance, right? That's because unlike on a desktop or laptop, the mobile site features the buy box directly under the product image. So it's something you need to think about, okay? So at the end of the day, if you care about, let's say, um, selling at all on Amazon, you want to make sure that your, your product is actually optimized also for mobile. Very important, okay? All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was actually talking to you today about um, how to win the buy box on Amazon, how to keep it, how to master it. And I gave you a definition of the buy box, the importance of it, eligibility, how to win the buy box, how to lose it, how to pay attention to pricing and the whole strategy. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.